Okay, I had to take a little break to do something right, but we're back and I'll now show you this shuffle right and the shuffle left in the drag menu, okay? And this, as I said, is an absolute head bender. <laughs> it drove me insane at first trying to figure out, because I don't like reading manuals, and I was trying to figure out what the hell was going on. I'll show you what I mean, all right? We'll put the um, drag menu into shuffle right, okay? Now, let me just move this this playhead out of the way like that, okay? So, drag menu is in shuffle right, and I'll put my snap to beat, which is 4-4, four, four, okay? So here we go. So I drag this one over that. What? Oh, they change places, right? I'll drag that one over that. Huh? They change... What? Hang on a minute. What? You know what I mean? You, you, you drag one over the other, and all that happens is they change position. All right, all right. So let me try shuffle left then. Alright, here we go. Oh. Oh. Same thing. They, all that happens is they swap round. So you think, well, there's no difference. What What the hell? You know what I mean? <laughs> no, no. The, this shuffle right and shuffle left menu are nothing to do with when you drag one region over another. What they're to do with is when you drag the edge out longer or shorter. Okay? Now... Shuffle right is selected. Watch this. I'm going to get this orange region here, and I'm going to drag its border out by one beat, covering the green one. And watch what happens. Oh, -ho. it extends this region out by that one beat and pushes everything else across to the left. All right, let me drag that back, and the green one pops back and follows it. Okay, let me drag this edge out. I'll drag this edge out by one beat and let go. Oh, now what's happened is it's added in that extra beat at the end, but it's moved everything back up and it's kept that orange edge on bar seven where it was originally. All right. Oh, now I've shortened it and it's moved everything back this way and it's put that orange edge back on bar seven again. Okay, let me try what happens with the green one then. All right, I'll drag the green one over like that by one beat. Oh, it's added in this extra beat and pushed it across that way. All right, so let me make it shorter again. It's popped it back again. All right, what happens if I drag the front out? No, oh, nothing. It just extends it out by one beat. All righty, now what's happening is shuffle right means that the right edge of the region that you're dragging out stays anchored and everything moves to the left shuffle right therefore means that anchor right would be a more accurate term so the right will stay anchored so if I drag this out by two beats all that happens is the right edge stays anchored I've extended that region out by two beats and it pushes everything else across drag it back and everything pops back to follow it if I drag the back out by two beats or one beat, let's say two beats this time, let go. Oh, it's kept that right edge snapped to bar seven where it was originally, but it's added. It, I've I dragged it out by two beats, so it's added in those two extra beats and then pushed the whole thing across this way so that the right edge stays anchored at bar seven. Drop it back one beat and it just shuffles everything back to keep its right edge anchored. But now there's only one beat extra in length. I drag it back to its original length and it shuffles everything back so the right edge is again anchored where it originally was. Okay, and on this green one, if I was to drag it across like this, let go, its right edge goes back to where it was originally anchored and that extra two beats gets added in and it, gets, it pushes the whole thing across it to the left. But the right edge always stays anchored where it was. Okay, so shuffle right you use if you want the right edge of a region to stay anchored. All right, shuffle left is the opposite, the left edge stays anchored. So, in the case of this orange one, for example, if I drag out the front by one beat, hup, let go, it adds in that one beat, pushes it back across that way so that it anchors to the edge where it originally was at bar six but it's so it's pushed the whole thing across there and added in that extra beat drop that back and it snaps back to its right its left edge position which was six again if i drag the back end out all that will happen is nothing 
because the left edge stays anchored and I've simply extended it out a bit longer. With the front bit, if I drag the back out over like that to cover the orange one, let go up, its left edge stays anchored and I've added in two extra beats and it pushes everything else across to the right. Drop it back by one beat and the orange one snaps back so it's adjacent to it. The left edge has stayed anchored and now I've just got one additional beat that I've pushed it out. Okay, So I'll drag it back to its original length and the orange one snaps back to follow it. Again, remember we're in shuffle left, meaning the left is anchored. So if I drag the front of this out by one or two beats, let's say two beats, let go up, it'll re-anchor the left edge. It'll keep the left edge where it should be. And that extra two beats I dragged it out get added onto the beginning and it pushes all the contents and everything else across to the right. Okay, so does that make sense? All right, shuffle right means that the right edge always stays anchored and shuffle left means that the left edge stays anchored. Okay, and that's what the shuffle left and shuffle right menus do. And um, that's it, we've covered the basics of the arrange grid and how it works with the uh, quantize and uh, the time signature, sorry, and the division. We've covered the snap and the drag menu, and uh, and that's kind of should be and you know how you use the dragging and moving regions around and things like that. So um, the next thing is we need to now do chapter two of the arrange page because trust me, there's more things to learn. I mean, we haven't even touched on, we haven't hardly even made anything play. Uh, there's all sorts of extras that I haven't shown you. Um, there are th tricks that you can do with these toolbars. Remember, there's two toolboxes, a left click and a command click for every local menu bar. Well, you can do things with those. There are different ways that you can select your tools. Um, I haven't even shown you these global tracks that live across the top, for example. I haven't shown you that you can drag this track list column out to be narrow or wider and that if you right click on it you can configure the track header area that's this thing here with all sorts of different stuff right I mean that's just a few of the many extra things that you should really know, learn I'm also going to show you something called screen sets which is a way of working which means you don't have to use these lower edit windows all right, and it's amazing the screen sets, and I think you'll agree when you see how they work that they're fantastic. Plus, you get a full screen mixer as well. Um, but what other things are there? There's this chain icon. We haven't shown you what that's all about yet. There's this walking man. We haven't shown you what that's all about. Then you've got this look H, which brings this look hide track icon up on here. Also, I want to show you a bit about like when you're working with more little bits of music and I, we haven't, for example, looked at folders and, and there's all sorts of extra things. Plus, there are some um, options that you can do to change the way things look and there's a whole bunch of key commands that I want to show you for critical processes like zooming in and out and making a region or a selection of regions perfectly fit the width of the window and key commands for zooming in and out horizontally and vertically and all sorts of little tricks like that yeah so we will finish this um, this uh, chapter one arrange page and we'll move on to chapter two which is the arrange page part two all right so I'll see you for the next one